my name is Robert Pasco, and I'm with the Badger Airbrush Company. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Tim Mitchell. Tim's also with Badger, and he's an expert in t-shirt painting. And he uses a particular tool to do his t-shirt painting, his airbrushing on t-shirts, and that's the Badger Crescendo. It's a new airbrush. And Tim helped in the design of it. Yep. And he'll tell us why he likes to work with it. Before I get going and show you some exercises, I want to just discuss a little bit what in the world you do with this airbrush before you start painting. A lot of people buy these things and they don't even use them because they just sit in their box because they're intimidated by them. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to have an air source that will give you at least about 55 to 65 pounds of PSI, all right? Whenever you have a compressor that will do that, then you won't have any problems with it burning up. You make sure that all your fittings with your hose, this is a 10-foot hose, make sure that all your fittings are tight and secure and so that no air will leak. I'm using a textile paint, specially designed for shirts. And uh, there's a lot of different brands out on the market. There's Aquaflow, there's Createx, there's some, a new paint called Excalibur. But they all work pretty good. Uh, you want to make sure that you uh, get them to the consistency of milk, maybe buttermilk. And uh, if, you, if you're not sure when you start spraying, it starts sputtering, you might have your paint a little bit too thick. All right? I've just poured this paint in this bottle, and uh, I've, just, I've just taken the bottle and I've pushed it into here. It fits just by grip, and you're ready to go. All right, now I'll show you some exercises that you can do. All right, one of the first exercises that I want to show you is just line exercise. I'm spraying the paint off here. I commonly use my hand as a palette because it's always there. I'll spray a little bit of paint in here and make sure it comes out. Since this is going to be a throwaway and just show you some exercises, I'm just going to get this thing spraying over here, just spray some paint out, make sure it's coming out. Now, I would usually use a rag or something like that. I just want to show you what it feels like to get some paint out on the fabric. All right, your goal whenever you start painting is you want to try to keep things tight and you want to keep things from having a lot of overspray. So some of the best exercises are line, dot, and fading exercises. So whenever you have to do some freehand lines, maybe to outline a cartoon character or something like that, they're not all fuzzy and stuff. You want to try to keep it clean. That is one of the earmarks of a t-shirt artist that is really good, is he keeps his lines clean. So the first thing I want to do is show you some line exercises, all right? What you want to do is you want to get into the t-shirt real tight. You don't want to have it far from the shirt. You're almost touching it, and you pull the trigger back just a little bit. Now look how thin I can get that line. I'm not touching the shirt. I'm letting my little finger rest against it. A lot of people have different ways to hold the airbrush, and there's no one way that's right, whatever is comfortable for you. But what you want to do is you want to try to get a line going that's clean, that's the same width. And you notice that you can get really thin with that. Now when you get that line going, and you're going to find that what you're going to do is you're going to touch the shirt, and, and it's going to bump, and it's go you're going to be nervous. You're going to go slow, and your line is going to wiggle. If you go faster, your line's going to be straighter and not crooked. So what you want to try to do is work on, as you're doing these lines, faster is better. And you'll find that the faster you get, the more product you can produce so you can make more money. And that's the object of the game. All right. So after you get this line down, you want to start going into what I would call a crescendo line from thin to wide, thus the name crescendo of this airbrush. You go from thin to wide. Thin to wide. Now, as you notice, I'm still doing the, the close, okay? But whenever I come back, I'm, I'm pulling away from the garment. But I'm also pulling the trigger back as I go. So it's the trigger is forward and you're close. It's back when you pull away. If you pull back a long ways with the trigger as you're close, then you get a splattering technique. 
that is real desirable to most people. They love to buy shirts with splatters all over their shirts. Uh, so you want it, you want to keep close and forward, and as you pull back, you pull back the trigger. You can also go back and go into thin. See? That is a very common technique in almost everything you do. Now, as you feel that you can go from thin to wide, and that is why you have a multi-gun, uh, uh, actually uh, a trigger that's variable like this, is so that you can go from thin to wide in just one pullback of your finger. So you want to be able to, to uh, start doing another exercise that will be curly cues. And this would lead you into some lettering. So you're going thin to wide to thin to wide. Notice, notice you get some hard darks on top of this fade. You can use that to your advantage too. The airbrush is so multiple, you can get so many subtles of shades and then stark black on top of it. You might want to start using a dot pattern. Give you a feel of what it's like just to do some dots. Always trying to keep in mind that thin to wide without splattering technique. Back down some now bear in mind I'm at an angle so that the camera can shoot this normally my back would be straight to it and it's a little bit more difficult for me to get these things clean I'm actually getting sort of an angled circle but as you're straight on you'll get a perfect dot and you'll go from thin to wide back down to wide to thin all right that pretty much wraps up some line exercises if you can master these you can pretty much go to any level